Okay, so while the onions are cooking, I wanted to talk a little bit about iron. So it's really important that you don't self-diagnose. Although iron deficiency is common, it's important to note that blood loss can cause iron deficiency. So it's really important that you see a trained health professional to check if you are iron deficient. And it's not always due to dietary deficiency. But when we talk about dietary iron, there are two types of iron. There is non-heme iron and heme iron. Heme iron is mostly found in animal-based foods, especially red meat and processed meat. Now, although it's readily absorbed, and that's why there's a myth that young women should be having red meat once a week in order to get iron when they have their period, that's a complete myth because we know that heme iron is linked to increased risk of diabetes, to heart disease, as well as colorectal cancer. So we want to focus on non-heme iron sources, which is mainly found in plant-based foods. Now it's not absorbed as readily, but there is a trick here to increase the absorption. 